sounds okay, but if you do it on piccolo trumpet, which a lot of orchestra players do, it sounds pretty good, actually. If you use a big, I, I don't have my other mouthpiece here, but uh, you play it. See, they're gonna hear that. That other one, there's a lot of people playing just for, just for like about 10 seconds. And then everybody clears out. But in the meantime, you, you go, did that guy play? Did they play? I've heard it a few times. I played Mahler 8 uh, three times. And I don't think I've ever really, uh, the last time, Phil Collins used the piccolo trumpet. I heard it. I was up in the balcony playing the balcony trumpet parts. And you know, you sit up there for 40 minutes and then you play like about a minute. Kill yourself, it's always out of tune because nobody's been tuned up, it's terrible. But I heard it because the last time he did it, he used the piccolo trumpet. And it wasn't because he couldn't play the notes on his other horn, he, he could do it. But it, it, you could hear it. It came out. So once again, when you choose equipment, you choose equipment that suits the job. Just like, you know, you're gonna cut wood with something, you're not gonna use a giant saw to, you know, to cut a little picture frame. You're gonna use the right saw, you know, to cut that so that it looks good. You can still cut with the other one, but who knows what it'll look like. So basically, all these things that I bring, these four trumpets are probably the most uh, common four trumpets that you play in traditional uh, brass music. Uh, uh, if you're playing jazz a lot, you play a fluke horn. And that'd probably be the, like, the other horn. And aside from that, you really don't need any other horns. You don't need an F and G trumpet, really, unless you're playing in an orchestra where they're doing a lot of really delicate work.